In the courtyard of a hospital in central Gaza, fire rages through a tent camp in the wake of an Israeli airstrike early Sunday. Dozens of wounded evacuated, the dead brought to a nearby morgue. On Saturday, a strike on a school compound in Gaza City. There, at least 15 were reported killed, including children. Israel says it's targeting Hamas positions. As the bombardment of Gaza continues, protesters gathered near Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's residence in Jerusalem and in Tel Aviv Saturday to demand a ceasefire deal that would secure the return of the more than 110 hostages still being held inside Gaza. There is a hostage release deal on the table and Netanyahu is deliberately conducting a targeted, and targeted attack against it. He chose to escalate the situation instead of securing a deal which would save lives and prevent dangerous escalations. The killing of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniya in Tehran and the confirmed death of the group's military leader Mohammed Daif in Gaza have left many wondering what more the Netanyahu government can hope to achieve militarily. Israel's main ally, the U.S., is stepping up its pressure on the prime minister to finalize a ceasefire deal. President Joe Biden saying the apparent Israeli assassination of Haniya has not helped the process. We have the basis for a ceasefire. He should move on and they should move on now. On Saturday, an Israeli delegation returned home from ceasefire negotiations in Cairo amid reports that the head of the Mossad intelligence service has complained that Netanyahu is holding on to demands that would make a deal impossible. Far-right members of Netanyahu's own cabinet, who are crucial to the prime minister's political survival, have called on him to continue the war until the total destruction of Hamas, a goal most military analysts say is out of reach.